Hey guys, gals, James here, Jimmy Screens, Mr. Chiller. Hope everybody's having a great evening, Monday evening, and I hope you're looking forward to your Tuesday coming up. Hope you're all having a great week so far. I got some new sub shout outs I'm going to get out of the way, which I really do appreciate, by the way, as everybody knows, I really appreciate all the new subs. It means a lot, guys. All right, without further ado, I've got Marcus Schultz, Josh Hicks, Melissa Morrison, Yukai Reef, Brad Johnson, Tyler Jolly, Jose Torres, and Adam Kennard. Thank you for all the new subscriptions. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate all the comments that I've been getting from a lot of the new subscribers. I'm grateful for the new subscriptions, comments, and that I'm able to help you guys out in any way that there is. So, I mean, that's what this is all about. It's a great hobby. So, you know, if you see something you want to ask a question about, you know, feel free to hit me up or something maybe that would help me out, you know, let me know. I take critique as well as give it. And that's just the way it is with this hobby. So, again, thank you very much with that. All right, uh, you're looking at the 50-gallon fry tank. As you can see, it's been a couple of days since it's been up. It went from this big bomb of whatever it was, the Red Sea combination slash mud, whatever, to a cleared up tank. And now it's kind of like a partly planted, I guess you could say. No dirt, no substrate, nothing like that. I'm not going to go that route with this tank. I know a lot of you are probably going, do it, do it, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so... I figured, I was like, alright, I got all these green plants inside here floating around doing whatever. I figured I may as well make it look halfway decent. And I'm sure the fish appreciate it as well. So, since I tossed them in this lake from their plant tote. But uh, basically all I did was I had the rock inside the plant totes that they were living in. And underneath the rocks and whatnot. And decided, alright, I'll go ahead and use the rocks for paperweights basically. We'll call them plant weights. And uh, see what I come up with. And then everybody knows I got all that manzanita wood from out there in Arizona from Turbs. So, or Turbo. So, I decided to go ahead and use it. It's still got that red bark on it. I'm surprised it hasn't really dried up, but it is what it is. I don't know if it's going to get that white film on it or not. We'll have to just play it out and see what it does. I noticed it is tinting my water a little red, but, you know, whatever the case may be. I'll just give you a quick look at what I did here. Everything is basically just being held down with rocks. So roots and everything. Some of them might be sticking out, whatever the case is. I honestly don't care. I just figured it looked kind of cool to do something different. These are just sitting up here. They're not tied down or nothing. So the current is actually good enough to where it's actually holding my plants in place wherever I set them. And even if they move, big deal. I can always move them back. Not a big deal. Uh, had to put some rock up here on top of the manzanita and around it because it does want to float. It's dry, but it's not really dried fully, so it still wants to float up. What are you going to do? And then, like I said, all the rock is around it. So I kind of created this weird island. And look at that. I swore I got rid of all that Ricky of. That stuff was all in Slim Tim's mailbox and look <laughs> I had some little clippings I had thrown in the uh, plant tote the other one and it always floated up on top so I assumed that that's what it was it was just a little thing turns out it ended up growing and creating this big mass mat combined with my java moss so it created a big turf I went to pull that stuff out of there, and the whole top of the plant tote slid. And I'm like, what the heck? And that's what it was. This thing was just like one giant carpet inside my plant tote. So I was like, all right, this is cool. Pulled it all out of there. Put it in here. It was trying to float up. So I dropped some of these heavy pieces of granite on top of it, and that's exactly how it formed. So I thought it looked kind of cool. It's something different. It's got like this landmass look to it, kind of like the end of an island look. 
So I think it came out pretty cool. It surprised me that it was actually in the plant tote. And then also over here, this plant right there that's out of ordinary, that's actually in a pot that was in there down underneath everything. It wasn't even in light. So you see how well that plant tote was taking care of things, kept it alive. But what I did was took a big hunk of java moss and tied it all the way around the actual pot so you can't even tell that there's a pot there no more. But it is actually a little plastic pot and whatnot, and I just slid it up into the rocks. So I think it looks pretty cool, something different, especially for me. I always try something crazy, but never did it this way. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. Again, thank you for all the new subscribers. I really do appreciate it, as always. And uh, I'm probably going to end up having a contest coming out. I don't know exactly what it's going to be, so we'll have to see on that. But I will definitely let you guys know. And just want to say thank you to everybody, everybody on the uh, Google Hangouts, whether you're in just regular chat or if you're in the actual live stream. Have a lot of fun, a lot of great people, and just, I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. So that's pretty much all I got to say about it. Hope to see you guys soon. I will talk to you later, and thanks for what you guys do. Bye-bye, everybody.